Hello, my name is Tyler with Aerie. Uh, we're in the Burbank Creative Space showing the launch of the 360 Evo. It's the second generation upgrade for our SRH platform. Uh, this allows it to enable a 360 roll as well as open up the ring for more real estate now that we've moved our ports to the back side. Um, this uses the same power system as our Artemis II and our Trinity II to allow 12 and 24 volt power on the same port. In addition to our 360 roll and our new power distribution, we have also added our roll motors to the bottom and allow them to be weather sealed. Um, this allows the remote head to be in a little bit more of a precarious environment, such as today, out of all days we had LA rain and the head performed well. Um, on the, uh, the platform we have the Ajito. The 360 and the Ajito are often paired together. So the Ajito is a device made by Motion Impossible. It is a remote controlled RC vehicle that is capable of dampening um, its payload with its VCon isolator. Um, we also have powering the SRH, um, our main station one loan from C Motion. This allows you to use variety of onboard batteries such as gold mount, V mount, and B mount to power the SRH, um, providing uh, the necessary wattage to power the camera and the head and any necessary radio. And you can think of this as a mobile modular dolly. So you have the core of the Ajito. This is the core and it's got interchangeable ends. Right now I have the sports ends. So we have a front and back. They're actually interchangeable. Does it need to be this sport end on this side or the other side? Completely interchangeable. You can set this up for wildlife, sports, live events. We also have different ends, so I can take these ends off and put on actual tracks that'll run on a tracks. We also have different types of adapters on the top. So here what we have is called VCon. So VCon gives us uh, the ability to go higher speeds and it gives dampening for any mount that we're putting on top of it. Right here we have the Aerie SRH 360 Evo. So top speeds for a standard Ajito is about 14 mile, 14.7 miles an hour. You can take a course for high speed. That'll bump you up to about 27, 28 miles an hour. These courses that you can take for Ajito are called Ajito Academy and Ajito Academy High Speed. You can take Ajito Academy at Able City in LA or Burbank. And high speed is actually uh, all set up and coordinated through Ajito themselves. We also have a tower unit, so you don't have to have just this VCon. You could take that off. And then you've got this telescoping tower that'll go about seven feet, four inches. And the last modular piece I'll touch on is called MagTrax. So they're adapters that actually go on these bumpers right here. So you could set an adapter on each side and it'll follow a magnetic strip. So you could set a magnetic strip to whatever type of layout that you want and dial those uh, sensors to follow that magnetic strip. So now you're not limited to just the physical track. You've got a magnetic strip that'll follow uh, the Gito will follow along. So use cases here are, uh, well we've seen them, are award shows, uh, live sport events, and concerts, um, commercials as well. There's a new generation of a Gito coming out called Gen 2 that changes a couple things, weight capacity, speeds, uh, but as of right now only this Ajito is available. There's a lot of customizable features, hence the modular component of it. So we got different tires we can attach depending on the use case, uh, different shocks as well depending on the weight. So here we were just doing a small car chase and you've got monster tires, heavy duty shocks, VCon, so that gets us to that 14.7 miles an hour. Um, you can find out more at ablecine.com or you can find out more at Ajito. So today we also debuted on the um, 360 Evo, another platform that we like to show it on, which is the, uh, which is an arm, a traditional arm car. Um, Easy PC Films brought out their Hyper Motor Crane um, arm car on their beautifully customized Mercedes-Benz. Uh, what we did was drive around the parking lot, uh, showing that the Alexa 65 can be inside the 360 Evo and maintain a rock steady horizon. Um, traditionally, the the Alexa 65 has had to be 
uh, mounted upside down inside the SRH 360, but now we have been able to uh, expand the real estate inside of the ring and allow the uh, 65 to be mounted like any other camera. Yeah, my name's Nigel Hudson, I'm from Easy Peasy Films, I own the arm company, arm car company, and uh, we're here today at ARRI, and uh, we're demonstrating the EVO 360, which is the uh, new remote head that they have that's enabled it to be able to do the roll and, you know, full 360 uh, inside, inside. So, uh, very impressive piece of kit. I already have the SRH 360, the regular. Yeah, so, um, and this is it over here. They have it paired with the, the ARRI 65 right now with the 24 to 75 lens. So, yeah. It is, oh, with this, the, the isolator, Johnny, and that, that comes to about 88 pounds, 88.2 pounds, I think it was. And so, and then we have to, what, to counter that weight, we have in the arm, at the very back, we, we put plates, metal plates in there that counter. So right now we've probably got about 120 pounds of metal plates. And the, the back weighs about 40 pounds as well. So without anything on it, we still have to put 40 pounds at the front. So in addition to showing the launch of the 360 EVO, we also showed our existing flagship stabilizer products, the Artemis II and the Trinity II. It's a modular Steadicam-like device system that allows you to go from Artemis to Trinity. The Trinity is an electronically stabilized gimbal head on top of a traditional body-mounted stabilizer device, allowing you to go from high mode to low mode in one simple move. And in addition to all of the power benefits that we've had from the Evo, our, three, uh, our Artemis II and Trinity II also benefit from the power distribution advancements. This is the uh, master control. So this is where all the communication is happening between Ajito. You've got these uh, uh, transmitter receivers and there's different frequencies that you can get them at. Right now it's 2.4 900, but if you have a specific frequency, you can work with Ajito to get that. And this is where everything uh, happens between operating a GITO, it's all on this controller. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you think about the way a GITO is utilized, you have an Ajito op. Uh, sometimes you'll have a utility help build the Ajito because it does take time to build this Ajito. And then you have a separate, the camera department will deal with the actual camera and the operation of the camera. So you work in tandem. You still want to have line of sight with a GITO, just the nature of it, you know, it's carrying a lot of weight. It has high speed, so you do want that human component to have line of sight to be able to control it. But what's nice is if you're utilizing like mag tracks, um, a lot of that is controlled by the software. And you could set, I could even set limiters on here. So if I want this to just go two miles an hour, three miles an hour, it's set to that. I can adjust acceleration, deceleration. Uh, so there's a lot of granular control when it comes to a GITO, but yeah, I would say award shows are great because um, you know you have the red carpet, you have the concert and the guests. As long as you set the magnetic strip for like something like Mag Tracks, it can do those repeatable moves without getting in the way of the audience. What's nice about Mag Tracks too is you can set that magnet under a carpet, so to the naked eye, no one would see anything. But you can adjust the sensors on a Gito uh, to go lower or higher depending on where that magnet is. So this is a motor crane. Motor crane hyper. So we have the 14 configuration, but I can also send it, you know, make it out to 20 foot. Custom made, everything, you know, all, all done uh, and fabricated inside to strengthen, strengthen the car. Put steps on there, everything. Steps. The car is a ML63 AMG. Oh, you can go very, very fast. Um, but I mean, in general, I mean, my last three jobs, we went about 10 mile an hour. So it's, yeah, and uh, we have a couple of cars. We have this, and then we also have a Can-Am, which enables us to go off-road. And I have a, a different motor crane arm called the Radical. Uh, a bit, little less payload, but um, still a very capable piece of kit. 
Yeah, I've seen that a lot too, where uh, high speed, you know, maybe you have a car rounding out a corner. You could set up an Ajita there and not an actual operator to be able to capture that. So the risk to any person is, is mitigated because now you can do all of that with an Ajito. And, you know, it, it can be utilized for maybe some high speed, uh, more risky environments and not have an operator and it doesn't get tired. You're limited only by the battery life. Uh, if you want to find out more about Ajito, I'd go to the Ajito website, check it out, see what's offered in the full modular set. If you want to learn more about Ajito hands-on and in the training environment, get in touch with Ablecine. Ablecine.com, you can check out our training page. Um, we've got multiple trainings happening in LA and New York throughout the year. Just take a look at our training calendar and you'll see Ajito Academy listed on there. You can set limits. So, I mean, we can go right down as low, but the, the thing being, if you have, uh, we have an INS on there, which is a stabilizer. So, if you're going, if you put the INS on, the car will do this, so it'll move, but the arm would stay nice and level. But, if you have any incline, right, so if you're going up, and the arm still, it'll, so you gotta be very careful in what you're doing. Yeah, you just gotta be very mindful. Uh, I have a, a piece of equipment here, DVM. I have uh, night vision on here as well. And also, day, I can see them through the daylight. This one, I can switch uh, between the, the front, vi front camera and the back. So if I need to see them. This one shows me what the camera is looking at, so I can line up and be exactly where I need to be. My arm up usually sits in, on the right side, right? It depends which way, he, if he, we're filming out the back, he can sit in the back where I have the AC usually sit or they switch. And so he has two monitors. One is a uh, multi-view with the witness cams and there's four on each side and it shows all four sides and then the other one is what the camera is looking at so he can line it up so when he's doing, moving the arm. I, I, I mean I'm, I'm very detailed in, in what I've done and if you can see it's fully specced out you know we have in, inside it's you know everything that, that you need you know, big monitors we have the wheels we have the controller we have with the joystick we have you know walkie talkies we have you know so we have the headsets for inside we have everything everything you need yeah yeah I, I mean I've done stuff before you know stunt coordinating and uh, uh, I came originally as a uh, as a boxer yeah many 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 years ago yeah yeah I'm not young <laughs> and then you know went through that and then now I'm doing this so yeah but I did the stunt coordinating fights and stuff like this for many years yeah so training people and and uh, working with all these different actors this I bought a couple of years ago but I did I did arm stuff but it was more with black arm stuff like this more fixed and, and but I started the easy peasy back in 2015 and I used to do underwater, I still do underwater filming with Ernesto Lopez there, uh, you know, both rescue divers. I mean, I'd love to be on a feature, but um, you never know. I mean, fingers crossed. Easypeasyfilms.com, come, come and have a look, check us out. And uh, we're always, you know, up for a chat. Anyone who wants to uh, reach out, let us know. We were able to cram a lot of people into our space between Airy and Airy Rental. Uh, showing the flexibility of our creative space, our rental supports, and how as one company, Airy can provide the needs of content creators. We were very grateful that people came by to spend their Saturday with us in our rainy LA evening and uh, have some fun with our tools.